You absolutely love cats. Welcome to Cute App, your virtual interactive cat cafe. Get your daily dose of cute every day. We're live right now. We foster kittens all year round and live stream 24-7. Our goal is to make Los Angeles a no-kill city. We volunteer through Kitten Rescue LA and save dozens of cats and kittens every year. Subscribe now Hello. and share Hello. our foster Hello. journey Hello. right here. Give me your captain. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's up, everybody? It's time for our Tuesday cat chat. How y'all doing? If you haven't seen humans on camera before, I'm Sam. Uh, my wife Amanda will be joining us in just a few seconds. We are your fosters. We've been fostering for four and a half years and we've fostered over 100 cats and kittens right now in this room. Our fosters are Mama Bonita, hey Turner, and Cutie, who is somewhere over by the door. Um, and uh, yeah, skulls. I'm going to try and. Sc uh, I don't know. Those are the goals, I guess. I hate numeric goals. I feel like our goals should be like, we're going to do a project. Um, but that's what it is. <laughs> we do these chats three times a week, Tuesday and Thursday evenings at this time, 9 o'clock. Pacific Standard Time, or whatever the heck it is, uh, and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Thanks for gifting that sub, Turner. Uh, yeah. Sub, sub. Bye, sub. And we do these chats to give updates on the cats and kittens as well as give you an opportunity to ask any questions. So please feel free to ask questions, even if you think they're dumb or they've been asked before. Hello, Crispy Kitty. Welcome to the Q&A. Uh, so yeah, please feel free to ask questions. That's why we do these chats. If we're ever not in the room on camera and a question comes to you, you can go over to our channel point rewards, hit the save a question button, enter your question there, and we'll answer it in the next possible chat. If it's a really good one, we'll, uh, we'll post it on like TikTok or Instagram or YouTube or all of those and so on and so forth. And our Discord's a great place to find those. Uh, so yeah, ask questions. And if you're out there, Drop some emotes or hello in the chat or a high emote, two for one, uh, so I know you're paying attention, but feel free to lurk. Uh, Amanda should be joining us in just a few seconds to give some rough updates on pretty much nothing. <laughs> Hi, CG. Hey, Crispy Kitty. Hey, Turner. Where's Means and Janine? Not, not here yet? Let's see. Did I miss anyone else during the, the preamble there? Uh, Means was here not too long ago as this kid. Why? What did you do? I need to tell my bed. Alright, I'll be right back. You took down your what? Daddy took down my bed. Your bed. What does that mean? Let's go. I will she be right back. She took the blanket and stuff out. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. 
girls got to bed really late. There's a bug on the... Now I'm going to put this bug outside. <laughs> Good lord, what a day. This time, for real. All right. Hi, gang. Big boss spicy coming in while I wasn't paying attention. How's it going? James, Liz's. how are you doing? Welcome back. Good. Now that the kids are back in bed and I got that bug out of here, as soon as Amanda comes in, we can do a for real chat. She is busy baking Christmas cookies, but should be here soon. Surprised the kitties didn't try to eat it. I, it must have been a recent thing because I was in here three minutes ago and I didn't see it at that point. And I'm pretty sure I would have seen it right here. Okay, these cats, they're not, you are going to roll right off the bed. What are you thinking? <laughs> they're not so much into bug eating. I got the litter tray. Nice. Not so much into this? Okay. And I didn't do a lot of things. Bugs, being held, affection, being looked at in the eye. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, they're good. They're good. So, the basic updates. Um, a little over a week, these girls were supposed to move into an enclosure at a PetSmart. So that hopefully they would have been adopted for the holiday season. Unfortunately, Mom Bonita here had a very sudden patch of uh, hair loss. And when we did like a further inspection with a UV light, there was some fluorescent uh, reaction to that. So not a 100% confirmed, but we were pretty sure it was ringworm, which is a fungus that fluoresces under UV light. So we've been treating her. Um, can't really see any more things fluorescing. Here's, I don't know if you can see, she won't let me hold her, up, hold her up enough to see the little patch, but it's growing back. So we're pretty sure she's in the clear. Um, hey Red, good to see you again, thank you. We're, so we're pretty sure she's in the clear as far as ringworm goes. We are still treating her, uh, and that comes in the form of both an oral medication um, and uh, a, a topical. So you'll see us come in and like hold her down. <laughs> it's a two-man operation uh, to put like a topical gel on the, the patch as well as just a little on her face, which is really what she doesn't like because there's a part right by her whisker um, where we think it was. So that is not a very comfortable place for cats for you to do stuff. But the, you know, the wrist, she's fine with us doing. She's very used to it. The nose is like, Meh. But once it's the whisker, she's like, I don't want to do that. I'm out of here. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer we have to be doing that. It's up to Amanda. Uh, probably another week is my guess, but we'll see what Amanda says when she comes in. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, the if you ever see us come in and shine like a, a purple light on, that's what we're looking for is those spores. Um, and yeah, it, it seems like... It has uh, cleared up, but we'll keep treating until we're, you know, positive. That being said, they won't be moving into the enclosure anytime soon. Probably not until we come back from vacation in the new year. We will be going out of town um, right after Christmas and coming back before the new year. So we'll have somebody stop in to take care of them. Uh, there'll be a, there'll be food available and water and you know stuff like that. We'll have someone come by to clean the litter and things like that. Um, so the stream will be up, uh, and we probably won't even do the nighttime routine while we'll, while we are gone because there's all four night vision cameras hooked up as part of camera five. So for those of you in the know. Uh, Plus, we'll probably just leave the, uh, there's a, not the room light, but there's like another light <clears throat> that's a little less bright. So we'll probably just leave that on 
which is dark enough that they will sleep, uh, but light enough that things like camera three and maybe camera seven will, will still work pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's next week. Uh, and then we'll be into the new year and getting ready for our events in February, which are like our Valentine's Day event and our Super Bowl. The Super Bowl will be happening on the 13th, right, right before Valentine's Day. So I got a lot of stuff to do simultaneously. Um, <laughs> assuming we get a new litter in time for that, because <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna be much an event if it's just these two cats. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, uh, the last two years uh, to uh, coordinate with, I don't know, some national sports game, uh, we do the Super Bowl in which uh, we usually have a litter of kittens. Previously, the last two years, we have a litter of kittens. We break them into teams of two or three per team. And there's like an interactive scoreboard, um, which is prompted by donations. And this is kind of our fundraising effort to get ready for kitten season, which is like a month or two after that, because uh, we're in Los Angeles. So really, kitten season is, a, is an all year round thing, but there is a significant spike uh, right at the beginning of spring. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing that fundraiser uh, February 13th, and it's pretty fun. There's a lot of little graphics you can pop up uh, as well. Although I just remembered I need to update everything now because we weren't Twitch affiliates back then, so things were done differently, and I can do some channel pointy stuff as well. And that's really all I got. If you have questions, please feel free to ask about anything. It doesn't have to be things I talked about. Um, hi. Hopefully Amanda comes in soon. I don't know how many batches of cookies she was planning on doing. How's everybody doing? You excited for the holidays? I had my first gift today in which a meeting that I dread was canceled. So that was nice. And then... My weekly, I have a manager and we have like a weekly one-on-one -on -one meeting Thursdays and that was canceled too. What is going on? <laughs> yes, Amanda is making cookies. She bakes. Yay. Fierce. She bakes several dozen cookies every Christmas, and somehow I only get about 10 cookies. I don't understand how that happens, but it's a fact. She makes six or seven kinds of cookies and a couple dozen of each of those cookies. What is, how did this really, this froze in one hour? Wow, interesting. It was like an ice core clogging my neck. Uh, the first batch, well, her mom, so our in my in-laws, her parents are in town, and her mom already made lemon bars, but Amanda was just making, uh, if you saw before I started the chat officially, I had one. Uh, it's chocolate cookie with maraschino cherry in it. Uh, it's my absolute favorite of all the Christmas cookies, and it's fantastic. So it's a chocolate cherry cookie. It's, it's a very cakey cookie. But then she also makes like fudge bars and more traditional stuff like uh, the spr spritz cookie and whatever those almond, almond cookies that are like little round dome cookies with powdered sugar on them. Uh, and then just regular sugar cookies, and that's like five. What, what the heck is the other one she makes? Uh, sometimes chocolate chip, but that's more of a year-round thing. I feel like I'm missing something. Anyway, there's going to be a lot of cookies here. <laughs> so if you're in L.A., stay away from my cookies. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's a good time. Um, what are you guys doing? What are you looking at?
You have to share. That's what Amanda says. And I'm like, no, I shared last year. How many cats do you have right now? Uh, Foster-wise, we just have two in this room. Um, we have four other cats in the, other, in the rest of the house. Technically, two of those cats were also fosters, but will be... Oh, I should be uh, quieter because this is a thing. So two of those cats are currently technically also fosters, but we're giving them to the girls for whatever holiday this is. <laughs> okay. I don't think they heard that. I'm going to bake big cake. Nice. What flavor cake? <laughs> but hopefully we can get these girls adopted super, super soon so we can... It's a secret. Yeah. Name of Napoleon. Name of cake is Napoleon. No, I've never had a Napoleon cake. Is it a little cake? It's a short joke. Uh, tell me more. I guess I can. Siri, what is a Napoleon cake? Uh, vanilla or custard slice, similar to but different from the Napoleon. What? That's not. This is something that's like a Napoleon cake. <laughs> Miller flu. Layers of puff pastry. Is that what it is? Like puff pastry thing? Oh, oh great. <laughs> Lots of layers. Okay. I'm like, great. Now I have to search Cyrillic. Okay. Yeah. Is it kind of like, well, what, what's the flavor? Is it just vanilla or is it kind of like you can buy it in a Russian deli in L.A.? I you know a very good Russian deli in, uh, in L.A., in Valley Village. We used to live real close to it. It's weird that Napoleon would be a Russian deli tree. Yes, a Russian family tree. What? <laughs> All right, I'll check it out. Try to remember. Hey. You come here. Kids are still jumping around. I can hear them. <sighs> They're really bad at trying to go to sleep. And I get it, because, like, I never wanted to go to sleep. But, no, well, we have a fish and a snail. <laughs> uh, we did used to have a dog, but she got old and passed on. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, four cats, fish, snail. The little humans need to go. Thank you, CG. Exactly. 6027 Reseda. What is that? Is that a deli? That's not the one I was thinking of. Yeah. 6027 Reseda. Sweet. That's, uh, I think I know what that is. I think I know what that one is. That was cutie meowing Tarzana. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Is that... Is that a deli that you stand by, or you just did some Googling? Are you almost done? What's happening? Mm -hmm. I need a... Look, I need a hermit. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 give her a rest. I had to buy more churros because uh -huh. they were all out. Uh, when I used to live in LA, I always went there. Gotcha. So the things that I got from there are bigger than I was expecting. Oh. Yeah, they'll slip out. Huh? So, yeah, they're probably going to slip out of those. Well, they can get tighter than this, but barely. Just in general, just like the bow and everything is like larger than I was expecting. But yes, they're probably... Too big for them. Oh, it's box art. What are you talking about? We were talking about the cookies and then then uh, Napoleon cake, and then we're on a search for a Russian deli, and Red said to go to 6027 Rosita. Okay. Well, it's in the bag. So these are part of the surprise Christmas present for the girls. This is how we're going to uh, present the gift. I know Dasha. So too. this I don't this, this one is gonna go um Moose. Bear. No. Moose is green? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was blue. Green makes sense. This one's gonna go. So they each get a little bow tie with a bell. So bear, moose. And they had little tags there, names made on them. And then I got some stocking stuffers for the cats because we have a cat stocking that I, the girls wanted to do like individual stockings and I just said no. We have one big one with a cat on it that will be for everybody. So we now have a pet stocking. So a no, this is this is um one of those sacks. Oh. Same sack? Because all the holiday stuff was fifty percent off. Put the cats in the sack. So and we're like, oh, essentially, oh, oh. I got this with the no. intention of using it for next year mm -hmm. for because it was fifty percent off. But sure. this is like the stocking stuffers, and then this is some more of the the cats stocking stuffers. Okay. But the other thing that I got, which is why I brought the bag out, is all of these churros so that I can right, give her her right, treat, her right. medicine. medicine. Yeah. And Iris today wanted to wrap up a bag of cat treats for Bigger to give to him for Christmas, so she did that. We put, okay. it was like, we just poured like a few treats into like a Ziploc baggie and then she wrapped it in wrapping paper. But once it was wrapped in wrapping paper, it was like this little package and it was on the table because she needed to write on it yeah. and Moose was like going at it insane. he loves paper and <laughs> he could tell, well he could smell the treats like through the package. Thanks for gifting that subred. When he gets it subs away from a, is that a, a goal that I set? <laughs> 60? Oh. 60 is our goal? Okay. Are Bear and Moose sleeping? Uh, no, they were kind of like eating dry food, just kind of milling around. Yeah, they're sleeping. I mean, if we're not out there for them to annoy, then yeah, we'll probably rest a lot. But as soon as we're out there, they're like, hey, we should jump our curtains. Oh yeah, Moose destroyed one of our curtains the other day. Yeah, like he, he jumped up on this kind of like out, thin, sheer curtain and just ripped the whole thing all the way down. Does, he is naughty. Yeah. Does anyone know how many breeds of cats there are? No, it's a, it's probably a 30. Lot. 
Uh, you think it's that that's, few? That's my guess. Um, I mean, of like bread, like pure bread breed? Sure. Yeah. I mean, the dogs are in the hundred, right? Hundreds? Yeah, there's dogs. I think there's probably a, a lot of cat breeds that just aren't established so much. Yeah, like, there's maybe 30 cat breeds that are kind of, like you well know, known. documented well. The, the thing with cats is that a lot of people confuse breed and um, pattern. Uh, yeah, or color. So like almost every single cat that ever comes through here is a domestic short hair, whether they're orange or black or Siamese. white or Siamese. Yeah. <laughs> Siamese, I think, is a breed, though, at that point, right? Kind of crosses to an the extent. To but an it's extent. still there's still domestic short hairs, really. I mean, in like real, in real, it's not like they're purebreds. Yeah. Uh, Lana says, just got a new foster two days, and I am ready to return. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is she like a five-month-old terror kitten, or is she feral? What? What's her deal? Is she driving you nuts? Does she not stop meowing? Well... My friend Bridget, who is also a foster, um, had a pregnant mom who finally just had her babies. Oh, you didn't tell yesterday, me. and they're so cute. Yeah. Well, this is the first time hearing I didn't tell about them. No. She's got five kittens. Wow, that's more than expected. I know, way more than we expected. Interesting. They were very cute, and she's being that's a sweet. super good mom. Good. Apparently. And they were really good weights too. They were all between 122 and 148, wow. which is like huge. That is good. Yeah, for newborns. Especially because we thought she was having not that many. Yeah. Uh, did she post them on Instagram? Hey, Means. Um, I don't think so, but Probably she sent not. me a She's... few pictures, so I can share with you guys. She's pretty much as bad as I am about Instagram these days. And even worse. Probably. Open. Let's take a look. Good girl. Yeah, no. The last thing she has is from the marathon. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> that was a month and a half ago. Uh, I'll try to remember to check. I want to see that. Well, when she's done doing the medication, we'll see what happens. Yes, it's been some time. Right now, she's giving them a treat. So I give them like a little a... bit of this true treat, and then I squeeze some on my finger, and I like put the pill in it, and then I like stick it in her throat. <laughs> and then I get follow it up with a little more treat, so I make sure she swallows it. Um... If she was feral, I would understand, and said, instead, she's an older, very fat tuxie who suddenly decided to attack the hand that pets her with no warning. Oh, oh man. Um, she has done the same with my sister. So... <laughs> yeah. Well, how long you got her? Just two days? I don't know. I would chalk that up to new place. Uh, yes, Cutie does get some treat, too, but no medicine. Uh, it's yeah, hard for us just, not to give Cutie the treat. She's just more She just support. butts in. <laughs> uh, oh, Mean says, I am at my sister's watching on my phone, so I won't be saying too much. It drains my battery uh, quite quickly, too, so probably won't stay too long. Okay, no worries. Good seeing you. I was wondering where you were. Hope I everything's okay. I talked to my sisters tonight. You probably saw my butt in here. Well, that's why it was muted. Right. <laughs> I was laying on the bed and like I looked up at the camera and it, because I was like on my stomach, uh -huh. like my legs this way because I had the just phone. All butt. I had my phone propped up on yeah. that pillow and I looked and it was just like my butt and my legs. Mm. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a nice shot. <laughs> Surprised me to have more viewers. <laughs> I mean, I have pants on, <laughs> <laughs> socks. Yeah, that takes off pants. <laughs> <laughs> Time. <coughs> Whoa, cutie. Oh, you did? Yeah, I do it. I give her like Whoa, two that was licks. So quick. I give her two licks of the churu and then I put it in her mouth. It's like magic. I didn't even, that was crazy. 
Uh, can't give her any treats as she's on a specific diet and is a grazer, so not like I can cut down on food to help her lose some weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we came to get presents. I gave her a cake today. What kind of cake? Wash the flavor. Anyway, uh, is it okay if dogs or if cats and dogs sleep with clothes on? <laughs> I, I need more information, I suppose. Gingerbread. That's my name. Gingerbread cake. Interesting. I have never had such a thing. I don't know that I would like a gingerbread cake because the thing I like about gingerbread is the snappiness of, like, like you know, the cookie. I feel like if it was soft, I would be like, oh. It's, you know, I think it's similar to like, like the cake. pumpkin bread that I make. Which is like a carrot cake, kind of, or like a zucchini bread. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and it's pretty, I've had it before, it's pretty good. Interesting. She gets three and a half. Cups per day. Not uh, eating that. Not eating that. Last cat was eating five to six cans of food a Not day. Three. Do you said three and a half cups. That's three quarters of a cup. Yeah, three and a half. <laughs> three quarters, yes. Sorry, I was reading too fast. Five to six cans? That's, That's way too much. Are they the small cans? For a cat. But They've got to be cat. the small cans. But even if they are, that's still way too know. much. I mean, yeah. But like... Bear and moose together eat four times a day and would eat go through four of those small cans. Right. But that's two cats. Yeah. That's who are like rapidly crazy. growing. Five month um, old boy cats. My cat two times attacked me. Once really bad, my whole leg was in oh god, blood. So love him. Uh, seven ingredients, do it all in a big pot. I don't have to ice it. What is, okay. Why would you ice? Oh, oh, like oh, ice. Icing. Ice. Like frosting. <laughs> I was like, why would you put a cake in ice? <laughs> I am not a baker. So oh. it took me a second. I get it. You don't have to put icing on it because it's like a zucchini bread. Uh, he was in hunter mode and I was in the wrong place. At least you understand that. Oh. I mean, that's well. Yeah, small cans. This cat needs to lose the... The amount the last oh, that's cat, cat game. She was game. barely underweight. <clears throat> that gotcha. makes sense. I've had pregnant moms eat that much. So yeah, sure. That's yeah, or like nursing moms who were really underweight and mm -hmm. going through a lot of calories. Sure, I can see that. Uh, are you doing more baking tonight, or is that it? Maybe why? I'm just curious. I still have more of that dough. dough, so I still need to do at least one more cookie sheet, if not two of that those cookies, okay. but um, I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight. I'm kind of beat. Yeah. I'll probably just wait till tomorrow. She also had tapeworms the whole, the whole time. time. She oh, was, yeah. Well, that explains that a little more, that, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. That sucks. Yeah, Bridget's kittens, there's like... So the mom is like a, a ticked tabby, so she's not, she's a tabby, but she doesn't have like stripes or swirls. And um, so the, the, there's at least two babies like her, and then she thinks two of them are like normal mackerel tabbies, mm -hmm. and then one is all black. Okay, my first cat with parasites other than fleas. And she thinks... Yeah. Three boys, one girl, and she's not sure about the fifth one. Oh. And an other. <laughs> um, so the, she had them on, by the, by the time Bridget got in there, she'd already had four. Wow. They, like, what time of day really was fast. it? It was when she was picking up being from school, from school or something. Wow. I don't know. Or, um, oh, not picking up. <clears throat> yeah. She was out doing something. Or picking bee from quartz, maybe? Oh, and, oh uh, nice. She said, I was out of the house for a couple hours. Blake checked on her at 1.15. She was walking around, but meowing a lot. Then yeah, I nice. got home at yeah. 2, 
and checked on her and she already had four out. So between 1.15 wow. and 2, when Bridget wow, got home, she had had so four fast. already. Crazy. Um, and then had the fifth one like right after. So there you go. So she had them and she was in this big, kind of like a big armchair, mm -hmm. like this lazy boy kind of thing. Okay. And then Bridget was like, I don't, she set up all these nesting boxes and she decides to give birth on this chair that's like, you know, the, the, the chair's like this high off oh the ground. <laughs> and so she's like so worried that the babies were going to like off. roll off it. So she she put all these like plush blankets on the floor. But then eventually she said she doesn't, you know, move them by the time they go to bed, I'm going to move them. Yeah. So uh, before she went to bed, she went in there and put food down. And of course, mom jumps down to get like all the food. And as soon as she does, Babies start squirming and wiggling everywhere, and they're trying to like climb over the arms and stuff of the chair. So then the mom starts freaking out, <laughs> trying to move them. So Bridget just moved them all really fast into yeah. the the little pop up tent oh that God. she had set up. Yeah, wow. I was like, what a crazy, wow. crazy cat. Why, Why would, would she you pick that? There? <laughs> uh, but I think she's been, be I think she's been leaving them in the tent now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, uh, about the tapeworms, yeah, we've, I mean, we've obviously dealt with a lot of uh, strays and feral cats and stuff. So, like, kittens in general, basically, once if they're coming through the shelter, you can be guaranteed that they probably have worms. So, as part of our regimen, like our normal medical protocol, that we, everyone we gets worm treated for every worms cat for tapeworms and um, roundworms. Yeah. Every cat who comes through our doors gets worm dewormer. So yeah, we've definitely had cats with worms, but they didn't Usually last. Usually not for long. Yeah. yeah, they don't last long. And so yeah, never had to really deal with it as an issue because it's immediately dealt with. A lot um, of times it happens right before we get them because if they go through the shelter system first, yeah. the shelters automatically yeah. give them all that stuff before we even get them. They just give them the worms. Give them <laughs> and vaccine. Pretty sure they just give them to Here are your worm cats. All that. Yeah. Sometimes you need to take care of the babies regardless of what the mom wants. Yeah. That's true. We've exactly. definitely been there. Exactly. Uh, and I was, I was... Yeah, I told her. I was like, definitely move them. Like, yeah. you know, don't go to bed. <laughs> Leave them up there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, no, no. Why is that chair even in there? I, well, it's for Bridget to sit in to like she hang out with her. A beanbag chair. <laughs> All right, anyway, do you have an actual picture of them? I do. The chair? Yeah. Whoa. This one is a good one. Should send it to me so I can post it on Discord. I'm gonna show it though, but yes. So that is, it's kind of hard to, Nala and her babies, it's hard to see, anyways, mm -hmm. I'll send it, my mom's like, they just look like little blobs to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, she had three courses of parasite control before I got her, and then another while I had her. She has one more course on January 3rd. Oh, wow. See, she just, moved, she just moved it from yeah. that. Yeah, there. that's good. <clears throat> you just texted me. Mm -hmm. possibility that uh, these two girls will be going to the Pet Smart after the new year, I'm hoping. Um, it sounds like there's still room at the Pet Smart for them and they were actually like asking me today if um, you know if uh, they were like, hey did you ever get a hold of 
of Shanna because there's room if that's not still. But I basically just said like I, I feel like it might still be a little bit early to send them, just wanting to be like super cautious about Bonita and whether or not she's actually got ringworm and the possibility of like passing it on anybody. Um, and since we kind of already have the logistics squared away for our upcoming trip, um, we've already taken care of people, you know, taking care of Bear and Moose and taking care of these girls. We're just going to kind of leave it how it is. And then probably when we get back from our trip, we will be making arrangements to get Bonina and Cutie moved to PetSmart and then updating their, their adoption listing yeah. too. So hopefully, hopefully some great person is in the market for some cats yeah. for the new year. And then we'll end up getting new kittens. Yeah, and it's Pretty like soon. as soon as these guys get adopted, yeah. we will get new kittens. And even if they don't, as long as everything seems to be going well at the PetSmart, yeah. you know, if it's like February, March, and they're still there, we'll probably just get new kittens. I mean, once kitten season begins, we're yeah. going to get new kittens. Um, I posted that picture of Bridges Kittens in the Discord, so that's the link right there. And Red said, my cat once got fleas. I never let him go outside alone, only with me on the leash. We lived in an apartment, had bad, dirty human neighbors. After that, we bought a house. No more dirty people, no more fleas. Yeah. yeah. Fleas can be really bad. I mean, even if we yeah. have pets who never go outside and they get that. Yeah. Um, you know, if the, in the warmer months when the weather is warm, certain years have been worse than others as far as yeah. fleas being really bad and stuff. And, um, you know. If you treat everybody with like a free flea preventative and vacuum everything viciously for like a week, wash yeah, everything. I think a lot of people don't wash all your blankets and vacuuming and washing all that is. stuff. <clears throat> yeah. We've had like these summers where we treated all of our pets over and over and over again and just like it was not doing any good. Yeah. And then we realized like, oh, we just need to like literally wash every blanket and every bed and every thing that we have and like vacuum everything every day for like yeah. you know a good solid week at least to like get rid yeah. of it all um <clears throat> and then some summers it's never an issue yeah it just i was really gonna say it, on like the weather and it seemed like a bigger problem back east like my mom's cats but i mean obviously my mom's cats were indoor outdoor cats right. so they have more opportunity to get them but yeah um I mean, I think that's, you know, a big part of it as well. Another reason to keep your cats inside. Mm -hmm. What are you doing over there? Yeah, you? we had, even <clears throat> once we had only indoor cats, we had a dog who would go, obviously, go outside to yeah. go to the bathroom, and she'd hang out in the backyard and stuff. So, you know, there are ways. They find their way into the house. <clears throat> yeah. But when we got Bear and Moose as kittens, they were infested. Oh, bear. It was bad. Bear was the most infested kitten Sam's ever seen. Oh, for sure. I've seen two cats worse, but... Where was that? They were the two... There were two kittens that Mike and I rescued oh, from the dumpster at Molly's apartment. Get down. Yeah. Get. And Angela ended up adopting one of them, and then our neighbors adopted the other hey. one. Um, enough, those kittens were horrible. No They've been man. living literally in a dumpster in yeah. the summertime. Um, in where did where did Molly live? The place with all the gangs. Koreatown. No. Gangville. Cemetery. Not Echo Park. Um, it's Long two Island. words. No. Silver Lake. Close to there. It's. Like you're going to our Justice old place. But you Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock. That's the place. Yeah, she lived in Eagle Rock. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They were very, he was like, like we put the the shampoo on him to wash him and all the fleas were like crawling in his eyeballs and in his mouth oh and his ears. It was horrifying. Ten day old is, kitten. Dennis is. No. <laughs> That's a chunk. This is the new one? That's the mega chunk. Ay, ay, ay. That puts you to shame, cutie. Is this a boy or a girl? 
Maybe it's a girl, right? uh, She, yes. Yeah. She is a curvy. It says, Menu mozzarella. She looks like she has eaten a lot of mozzarella. <laughs> Three quarter cup of food a day. She only grazes on it. It's not even eating at all. She has a. Cap cat. She's eating a log <laughs> of mozzarella. And not because of the pattern. <laughs> Maybe she has a thyroid issue. If mm. she's not eating that much food. Could be. And she's that big. Maybe there's a yeah. some kind of Could be issue happening. Yeah. Because you know, it's surprising. It's not that much food. She's still cute though. Yeah. This cat looks like I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Meow. Anyway, Red says cute. Cutie, what are you doing? Stop. She's empty. trying to get the empty yeah, cans. I forgot them in here because I was on the phone when I was eating them earlier. Last night. Well, and Cutie, this cat, Cutie tipped over the trash can oh, today, well, today and then crawled inside of it and was like digging around all the empty treat As tubes you do. and empty food cans. And I walked in and caught her red handed. <clears throat> she poked her head out and was like, uh, I'm not doing anything in here. <laughs> Uh, last night, this we have this shelf over here, and she kept, because she's huge, like standing up and just messing with the stuff at the top there. Like every 30 minutes, I was like, what are you doing now? And I had to keep moving things. It was like, this clip, she was like really into this. Something else. Uh, that's the one I remember because it made the most noise because it's like a thin metal. Did that not wake you up? Kind of like messing around last night. She kept like knocking stuff. Oh. What? Where, where was that? In the girls' room. Why? Because she got it down. She kicked it under the door and yeah, it went and all the way across the hall into the girls' room. Uh, making a mess. Yeah, she was in a vet cage and then transferred to me after a 225 mile trip. Holy moly. What the heck? Don't you have fosters that, like cats that need fostering near you? Good lord. I mean, some places Leave are like, in a cage some or, places that are really rural don't have no, I get it, I get rescues it. or shelters that uh, are nearby I, them. So. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Wow, that's uh. That is a long way. That's a long way. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm trying to convince my parents who live 2,000 miles away from us to adopt these cats. <laughs> in desperate times. Yeah. Plus, these are just really good cats. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're so good. And then I'd be able to visit. Yeah, I'll be sad to see them. Oh, for sure. Yeah. super cheap tickets. I go for like, you know, 24 oh. hours and I just show up on the doorstep like, hey, I'm here You're to surprise so you and ta-da! <laughs> I've brought you pets. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. Who could say no to this adorable place? Oh, so cute. Her face is ridiculous. Cutie has adorable face. <laughs> now what? What? Somebody named Cutie having a cute face? Yeah. What are the odds? She grew into it. <laughs> yeah. What that? What's happening? What do you see? She's got like a nipple that's still nipply because I think uh -huh. Cutie yeah, might still. Nurses. Occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally find it. It's like that kid in Game of Thrones. It's like oh my god. 13. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Mm, so soft. So soft. I know. Oh, so soft. 
Does anybody have any interesting plans for the holidays? So, yeah, we will be doing a chat Thursday night, but oh, that's not right. Saturday. So Thursday will probably be our last chat for, uh, for the year. Yes. Until we come back. Uh, so Saturday January will be 1st. Christmas, and then next Tuesday and Thursday we will be gone. Yeah. Yeah, so the first. I mean, are we going to do one on the first? I mean, I've been at least a short one. Short one. We usually watch like the Rose Parade. And... Oh, right, because that's a morning one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've got to make up the room and stuff. We might so be hungover. I'm not, if not making promises that it's going to be a good <laughs> a chat. A good chat or a long chat. Um, a smart chat. We're not going to be doing any physics, I'll tell you that. As opposed to all those other times. <laughs> Complex mathematics. Real quiet. Nobody's got plans? No, nothing interesting? All right. Is everyone just hunkering down in place, which is probably for Sheltering the best? Sheltering in place. Yeah, that's good. Stay safe. CG says, I have plans. What are your plans? Oh, good. Oh, you don't have to be specific. <laughs> if it's a secret, it's okay. But if you want to share, we're My interested. My plans are no plans. We're interested. Our plans are to... Open a lot of presents and eat the food. And then go play in the snow, hopefully. Hopefully. And if not the snow, the hot tub. <gasps> I think she was fed garbage food her whole life and then dumped at a termination shelter and then the rescue got involved. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. That sucks. Wish you uh, guys Merry Christmas and New Year. Thank you. Hey, happy you holidays too. to you. Yeah. Hi. Excited for the new year. Yeah. I'm looking forward to our, our so we're going to the mountains because obviously the mountains. we live in LA and it's like warm and sunny and there's no snow here. It's not very, you know, winter like. So the day after Christmas we're going to the mountains for a couple days and we rented a cabin and um Bridget and her family goes there every year and we've gone pretty much like every other year mm -hmm. since having the girls um, But we've never gone with my parents before and so this time they're gonna come with us We got a place that was big enough for all of us and it has a hot tub And we're like crossing our fingers that it snows yeah. So we can do some some because the girls have really not had any real uh, yeah. snow experience or to exposure minor times. so not um, a lot of snow, more of a dusting. Yeah, so I'm hoping there's some... It's either going to rain or it's going to snow. And if it rains, that would suck. Because <laughs> that, like, it's just not very fun. We can't go for, like, nature hikes or, like, yeah. you know, do anything, really, yeah. except stay in. So in, at least there's a fireplace and stuff. But if it uh, rains, we can't even use the hot tub. Yeah. I will, but we can't. So, you know, hopefully it snows and that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, on Christmas Eve, I'll be with my family celebrating together. Nice. Very nice. nice. Very good. And Red says, I miss winter and snow sometimes too, but only one for two to three days. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yes. That's why we're that's going back we to the cabin for like, you know, four days and, and that's it. That's good for us. Yeah. I there it is. We're both from uh, very snowy places originally. Yes. In Philadelphia and, and Detroit. So it's like... Yeah. I don't really. I don't need a need six foot all snow the time. drop. <laughs> don't need to live there. Just yeah, visit. No. <laughs> yeah, I just want that first forty-eight hours of like pure white snow before it all turns into black rock, <laughs> black slushy ice. Hi, Renee. How's it going, Renee? What are your plans for the holidays? Um, so the recap for Renee and anyone else who lurkingly came by is that uh, these girls are going to be here until the new year and then it looks like hopefully we'll be getting them into the PetSmart enclosure. Uh, we'll be going away on vacation um, the day after Christmas to the day before New Year's. Yeah. So, so, the, so we'll be having our chat Thursday night yeah. and that will be the last one until next year. Until 
January. Yeah. Um, so the stream will be on. Uh, and there's four night vision cameras here, which are all camera five, and then A through D. Um, we'll probably leave the starlight on, which is not the main room light, but uh, a dimmer light, which at least a good amount of the camera should pick up enough at night. So I don't think we'll have to go to playlists at night while we're gone. Um, and hopefully Cutie doesn't knock over too many cameras while we're gone. Oh my god. Because yeah. we're not really going to have anybody uh, to like mess with it. <laughs> like if it happens, it just Yeah, if, if it goes badly, we'll, <laughs> we'll have to make a playlist. I will try and like put away any potential, uh, like the keyboard and the stream deck, I'll probably unplug that. So yeah, that we she only have so many, switch things. because of, we have like automatic feeders and stuff, we only have somebody coming by one day to check on them while we're gone and uh, scoop over and stuff. And we're not, I'm not gonna ask that person to do, do anything, anything stream related. Yeah, <laughs> if, it, if so. it goes badly, we'll just have, we'll rem we can remotely put it on a playlist. Um, <clears throat> Dennis says, you can have my winter. I hate it and want to be somewhere warm, <laughs> but with Canadian healthcare. I feel yes. that. Yeah, that'd be yeah. really nice. Um, eat, watch mom open gifts, and then watch Christmas movies. Right on. Cool. What are your Christmas movies of choice? Die Hard, Gremlins, Home Alone? We just watched Home Alone with the girls right. uh, a couple nights ago, and uh, Betty really enjoyed it. Iris, Iris did not. I just enjoyed it until, until the, the part where the guys actually thing. come into the house and, and uh, <clears throat> Kevin sets up all the traps and the guys start getting hurt um, because it's pretty realistic and she was just like not, not okay with it. So she had to kind of bow out during that part, but then she came back for the ending. Hallmark Christmas movies since the end of October. Oh, wow. Mom loves that. Okay. Wow, that's a yeah. Right. You were definitely like ready in for it. Christmas. You were deep in deep in it. season Christmas spirit. Canada needs to invade some warm country and give them good health care. <laughs> Costa Rica, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we just found out that Betty uh, needs braces, and our health care is not going to cover it. Yeah, so, that's exciting for me. That's so many thousands of dollars just uh -huh. gone. <laughs> she doesn't need to have teeth. What? Oh, I'm sorry. That is rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How would you, you need feel to have teeth? if somebody said that about you? in Texas. I want the health care. Yeah. Yeah, here too. Please. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we could just turn the whole coast, like, you know, Washington, Oregon, California, just be like just a little dangling participle to Canada. I'm fine with that. Uh, scared the kitty. I know, I was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I've seen a lot of them, but they're worth watching again. I try to catch as many of the new ones as I can. So those X-Men movies are nothing more than love stories with an X's. Yes. Okay. okay. Cutie, yes. Good job, Cutie. <clears throat> well, last night I came in here and was trying to sleep and that those lights started blinking, flashing purple oh, for like two then. minutes and then it stopped. Oh, we must have a big rain. Clearly Whoa. you weren't paying attention. Didn't flash the lights where I was. Ooh. It didn't do it in the living room? Were the lights off? I don't know. I didn't notice. Maybe it didn't. No, it didn't. Hi, oh, kitty. Maybe it was something else. Do not scare the kitty. <laughs> oh, sorry, Gigi. Hi. What's up, girls? What is up? <clears throat> Um, does Renee know the, the news about she here the other night when we were talking about bear news? I don't think so. Oh, I don't prove stuff. 
Hang on, get auto modded because you said butts. What? Can't invade Texas. Too many problems with guns and power grid issues besides Texas with kick our butts. Um, with mom having dementia, we want Twitter. She will focus on. She loves Christmas time. Though. No, that's right nice. on. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, okay. You could just <clears throat> make Christmas time last all year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Texas is crazy right now. It's, it's going to be interesting to see where that state oh, goes in the next uh, major couple of elections. Uh, I'm moving to Canada. I'm okay with that. What's real estate like? But it's too cold. <clears throat> There's got to be a warm part. You remember part. that snow thing we were talking about? Where's that warm part of Canada? It's going to be in Costa Rica, apparently. Just trying to make her quality of life the best I can. Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Good daughter. Well, that sounds like you don't mind the Christmas movies too much, so. <laughs> Secretly, I enjoy them. Um, so your last live, sh our last chat will be Thursday night. Yeah, the stream yeah. will still be on, but yeah, we won't be chatting again until January 1st after Thursday. Um, my dad has Alzheimer's and... Watches old shows like Murder, She Wrote, and Green Acres. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when we see you again. Uh, so we'll be we'll be here Thursday, same time, the uh, the twenty one hundred mark. Um, and then after Thursday, the next one will be so January first in the morning. Yeah, around ten a.m. Yeah. I mean, we might pop in here on Christmas Day for a a quick. You know, yeah. Merry Christmas, but not yeah. more than like a few minutes, really. That's know. true. Our normal chat time would be Saturday at 10, which would be Christmas morning. So, yeah, we might pop in really very fast. Yeah. But we might be busy making pancakes. That's true. Opening present. <sighs> oh my god, I can't stop yawning. All right, you want to wrap it up? Okay. So Go yawn somewhere else. It's been a busy week, y'all. Oh, we can't even watch. Damn, We're taking happen. Inara to. Uh, oh, my the cat's going to the vet tomorrow. Sam's cat, who is approaching ten years old, has not been to the vet or had a, a wellness visit in yeah, a while. In a while. Seeing as how we do all of our own uh, vaccinations <sighs> and stuff, she hasn't really needed to go <laughs> to the vet for any reason. So she's going to have a checkup and she's going to get her teeth checked out and most likely uh, get scheduled for a teeth cleaning. She better not need braces. And I'm hoping she doesn't need anything pulled or anything She's not expensive. sick, it's just a regular checkup. Yeah, she's fine. Well, she's just getting really old. She's never had a teeth cleaning and I want to kind of stay on top of that and yeah. make sure her dental health is good because my other cat, uh, cat from long ago, Avocado, passed away primarily due to dental issues that we were unaware of that uh, developed into like a really intense infection that was basically untreatable. So yeah, so, yeah she's probably going to end up needing a, a teeth cleaning which will be a few hundred bucks but hopefully nothing, hopefully they're not like oh she needs like all of her teeth pulled or you know she's yeah. got some serious badness going on in here. Hopefully nothing like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically making Christmas cookies with the girls tomorrow, but then taking mm -hmm. a break like the middle of the day to take an hour to the vet. Okay. Um, cool. <clears throat> uh, my cat goes back to the vet for her second antibiotic shot. Hopefully she'll chill out with the fighting. Yeah. She's such a bad girl. Uh -uh. Yeah. Maybe there's some weird aggressive neighborhood cat messing with her. That sucks. Yep. Oh, by the way, I snuck out. So 
you probably everybody in here has done the get badge command to unlock your Christmas badge or to earn the Christmas badge and then the three graphics that you can unlock with that, the commands. But I made one cat miss command uh, that is not tied to the badge that anyone can do. It costs, I think I only set it to five purrs, but it also has like a prompt for um, our merch because it's the, it's our first official holiday merch piece. So if somebody wants to do exclamation mark cat miss, C-A-T-M-U-S, uh, you can see that it'll show up over uh, down there. Uh, and that is available on our uh, new Redbubble storefront. You can't put a space in there, CG. <laughs> it's a command. No spaces. <laughs> when will you learn that she is a warrior cat? Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen another cat around, but who knows where she's going to get fights. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's not raccoons. Yeah, hopefully it's a cat. Not something um, crazier. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Um, Shout out to Queen Warrior 4 for making that design. Yes. So, uh, Danica, who Damn. sent us that food, mm -hmm. the wellness food, who is a former mm -hmm. adopter, she adopted yes. Dip and Lip, lip and Lip and Dead, lip and <laughs> um, who is now T'Challa and. T'Challa and. F I can't oh, remember the other one. Fenric. What is Super, uh, not Supergirl, uh, anyway, go on, Captain Marvel's cat. Anyway, yeah. Right. So she texted me today to see if I knew anybody who did raccoon rescue. Whoa. Because she apparently has a raccoon that's been coming up to her door. Whoa. Looking for, like, food and stuff that is totally blind. Oh. She thinks. Um. And she's really worried about it. She doesn't want to get like hit by a car. All right, Dennis. Whatever. So. Uh, have a good night. Have a great Christmas. Happy New Year. If we don't see you. So she's um, yeah. So I I told her I didn't. It's like I don't really know anybody that does specifically raccoon rescue, but I sent her to the squirrel, squirrel people. people. And I, I said say, I said so I know somebody who does people. squirrel rescue, and maybe they do, and I'm just right. not aware of it, or maybe they know somebody that does. Yeah, so hopefully she finds some help that way. I don't know. Uh, Red asks, did you guys get new Christmas costumes for your cats and for yourselves? <laughs> I did. <laughs> no, we did no, not. No, we did get little Christmas bow ties for... Uh, I think there's a child out there, so I don't see anything. Prepare that moves. I heard a door open. Yeah, I did. Um, uh, no, no costumes. Yeah. Although we do have a Santa hat and a little scarf that Bonita wore yeah, about I have a week or two ago. Um, briefly wore. But then I don't think she should put them on again because of the whole ring oh, ring thing. Yeah. Although when we put it on, it had already happened. And we didn't know it. Yeah. So we, we probably need to wash, wash that, that anyway. <laughs> so maybe we could put it on her. No, I wouldn't, because she seems pretty cleared up, so no, if there was any on true. that, then you would risk infecting her again. I don't know how long that stuff lasts. Is Cutie bigger than Bonita now? She is. Yes. She By is. multiple pounds. <laughs> um, Cutie is about 11 and a half pounds, and Bonita is 9 pounds. Yeah, she's she's quite a bit longer than Bonita. She's big. Yeah, she's a big girl. <laughs> And um, because Bonita had babies when she was so young, she wasn't even a year old yet, so she wasn't fully developed. She's um, yeah, she, she, she's stunted. She's never gonna get like bigger than this. She's yeah. kind of uh, stunted her growth a bit. But this is how big an Ara is. And, mm. You know, an is just kind of on the small side. So is <laughs> she. Um, and Aria is is more like Cutie. She's also quite long. And, uh, it's about 11 pounds. Girls are generally smaller than boys, so I think that um, Bear is going to be definitely smaller than Moose, um, but he'll still be big because he's a boy. So he's probably going to be, I would guess, like yeah, in the 10 to 12 pound range. 
but I'm estimating moose is going to end up being like 15 plus, is my guess. Red says, my cat is medium size in dog sizes, <coughs> cat size is large or extra wow. large, not easy to find costumes. Good lord, wow. how many pounds so is your many, cat? So many bigs. We're talking 15 or 20, <laughs> what's happening? Well, Bridget, Pedro's 18 God, to 20, that's depending that's too on if he's dieting or not. <laughs> yeah. That's huge, so big. 24, oh my, that is, that's a big cat. I was just talking a picture to of that that cat. somebody who had a 24 pound cat. Wasn't it you? We were just talking maybe, to somebody who had a 24 pound cat and they posted a picture. It was. And we uh, were like, yeah, I'll be like nah. I guess that's in there then. It's a big cat. I think one of the, I think of the foster Elizabeth has a cat that, that is also that big she posted a picture of like her cats and one of them was like this big and then the other two were like small small <laughs> oh, next to right. it and I, I was like can you knock it off this was the cat in the green hoodie yes yes you can't tell that it's quite that big no. yeah it's a black cats you know slimming <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. <laughs> um, <coughs> okay, that is a very yeah I know you would think that would be like uh, um, what are they called? Maine Coon? Yeah, like a Maine Coon or something. Like, it's got to be a Maine Coon if it's 24 pounds, you know. I but. have a friend that has two ragdoll cats. Yeah. Those are cool cats. Ragdolls actually aren't that big, but they just they're look fluffy. it because they're, they're so fluffy. fluffy. Yeah. But it's deceiving. When we go to visit, I uh, use leash and other dogs things he has done in friendly with. Nice. <laughs> That's very cute. Visit the vet. Very Got it. cute. Gotcha. Cutie, do not. Yeah, your cat is the one that likes to wear costumes. Our cats would yeah, cat absolutely would, hate it. My cat would never do that. Aria and Anara would both be like furious. What is your problem? <laughs> what have you done? I will get you. Bear and Moose, these girls would probably be okay. I feel like Bear would be okay. Yeah, Bear would probably be fine. But Ariana and Nara would be like yeah. angry. You have to train them early. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Stop climbing on the dresser. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give you some effort. Yeah, I discouraged that before out of here. <laughs> Ooh, I hear food scoops. Food scoops. Food scoops. I'll check it for a while over there. But is it on that? No. Cool. Yay. <sighs> they fight over the dry food. I should really get them two bowls. Renee says, my cat would never walk on a leash or wear a costume. I would be clawed to death trying to get <laughs> one on her. That's why she has to get antibiotic shots, because she won't let me give her liquid or pill. Yeah, and Anara would be, the, and Aria really would pretty be Pretty close same. to that. Yeah. They, we can't trim their nails. Like, yeah. We can't do anything to that. Yeah. No. No, trying to, there was a long time ago when we had to give Anara medicine, and it was like... Impossible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we just ended up putting it in the food and like hoping for the best hoping. because it was like a <laughs> joke to try and get her medicine. Yeah. All right. We're going to head out and we'll be back Thursday evening for our last chat of the year. It's 
been a great year. Thank you all. Uh, Red says, I adopted him from Kitten Rescue eight years ago. This is his foster mom. Right on. Have a good night. Thanks, Renee. Thanks, Renee. Thanks, Red. Thanks, Turner. Thanks, Means. CG. Uh, Dennis already left. Um, Big Boss. I feel like I'm forgetting one name. Who else was in here? Uh, good chat tonight, everyone. Thank you so much. It's it's great having lots of people in here. Big Boss, Spicy. Means was briefly here. Yeah, Means was briefly here. I said Means. She's watching this. Show. Yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you guys for your hard and kind job. Thank, thank you. All right. Uh, if you've got an Instagram account and a fur pal of your own you want to share, use our hashtag when you post cute avalanche. Hashtag cute avalanche in your caption. Uh, and it'll appear here at the end of every chat in our community pet corner. You can also activate this through our channel points reward. Um, and if you have more questions after we leave, please use the channel points to do the save a question and we'll get into that next time. Uh, I just realized we didn't even look at the queue for that, but I'm pretty confident that we didn't have any new questions. I'll take a look at the doc right now. Yeah, nothing. Okay, good. Um, baby Moose. There was Baby Moose. The little, little kid. All right. Thank you, and have a great evening. We'll see you hopefully on Thursday. And if we don't see you then, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. See you in 2022. Where's Baby Bear? Um, that's a good question. I'll try and post a picture. Oh, I gotta have something somewhere. Of what? Bear as a kitten. Oh, I have tons. All right, Amanda's got some. We'll get it up there. All right, good night, everyone. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit.